Well, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, professors and participants. Uh, I would like to begin with a small introduction of myself. I am currently studying a PhD in business administration in the University of St. Joseph. Uh, I have my bachelor and master's degree in accounting, and I'm currently working in the accounting department in the Bank of Macau, uh, BNU. And I specialize myself in CSR studies since my master's program. I did a comparative analysis with the CSR reports disclosed by the companies that are from the BRICS. And now I'm focusing on the impact of Confucian leadership towards women leadership in Macau. So for this symposium, um, I will be presenting my research in the area of moral leadership. Uh, especially focusing on the Confucian leadership and values of the hero figure, Junzi, amidst the pandemic risk control decisions to expand the positive aspects of this Chinese philosophy of moral character, and therefore helping to develop this dialogue with China based on these principles of Confucianism. Jia. And to my next slide, I Firstly, have to give a historical context of Confucianism, Rujia, and how was it originated. And to clarify that, it did not begin with Confucius, uh, our known Kongzi. Confucius himself, and he had based his love for the power of culture in his own hero figure, which is uh, Zhou Gong also known as the Duke of Zhou. And the Duke of Zhou was an important figure in the 11th century BCE. And he was the one who established the mandate of heaven doctrine. And what is that? The, this mandate of heaven, where he defends that the right to rule is guaranteed by heaven, investing heavily in ethical and religious power. So he also emphasized the benevolent rulership. Now, uh, mentioning about benevolence, a concept that later Confucius was inspired by, his moral persuasion became more influential. So Confucius, he wanted to revitalize the institutions of family, uh, school, community, state, and kingdom. So for that, he, for him, uh, these institutions was vital to political and social stability. And he addressed the self-cultivation and virtue, which is something essential to be a human. Confucians aim to transform society by cultivating a sense of humanity in politics and society. And to do that, he elaborated five constants. Uh, they also know in Mandarin as Wu Chang, that characterize a exemplary person also known as Jinzi. And I will get into that later. And as you may see, uh, these are the five constants, starting with the Zhen, benevolence, which is an act of kindness towards ourselves and others without expecting to get anything in return. So for Confucius, it is that if we improve ourselves, we are likely to help to others to improve. The second constant is righteousness, E which means justice, moral, and the ability to act rightfully, to do good in any given situation. Propriety, Li, means politeness. Confucius promoted the teaching of propriety with the primary duty of respect and obedience and care for your parents and other family members. 
basically loyalty to your superior and respect to the elders and in the community. And the fourth, we have wisdom. Zhi is having knowledge, experience, and good judgment in every situation based, based on own prior uh, experience. Confucian also explains the virtue of wisdom as knowing others. And last but not least, Xin, uh, trustworthiness, which is superior to strength or eloquence, according to Confucius. If a person is trustworthy, other, others will rely on him or her. So basically, uh, to be a Junzi is a person that has the ideal personality, who is altruistic, altruistic, righteous, wise, sincere, regardless of his or her birth or social status. So there is no gender discrimination. And uh, it can be achieved. It's not something that you, you must be born with. If you want to achieve this, you can uh, work on the discipline. And Junzi is someone that has the potential to be a good leader for a nation. So after saying this, uh, I would like to state that a good leader should have these qualities of Junzi. Its leadership ought to match the virtuous mission. But what is and how is this concept of leadership known in the 20th and 21st century? So in this slide, I gather some citations from some famous scholars in leadership studies. Um, I have here Peter Drucker. Leadership is the lifting of a man's vision to higher sites, the, rise, the raising of a man's performance to a higher standard, the building of a man's personality beyond its normal limitations. From John Cotter, leadership is most fundamentally about changes. What leaders do is create a systems and organizations that managers need and eventually elevate them up to a whole new level or change in some basic ways to take advantage of new opportunities. For Gary Yoke, the process of influencing others to understand and agree about what needs to be done and how to do it, and the process of facilitating individual and collective efforts to accomplish shared objectives. For Peter Northos, Leadership is a process whereby an individual influences a group of individuals to achieve a common goal. And now let's take a look uh, again of what is and how is the concept of leadership known in Zhu Jia Confucianism. So for Kongzi, um, he actually did not explicitly mention leadership uh, directly, I would say, but he advocated many of the qualities to be a good leader, elaborating the, this notion and idea that, as he says here, to become a gentleman, this word that he used to describe as a, a leader, Junzi, one must primarily serve the people work together as a team to achieve the common goal. A good leader must be virtuous. And to become virtuous is to, do, is to be correct. To be correct is to act and gain the five constants through discipline, education, and natural talent. The five constants are essential to be a powerful and respected leader. Now, to get back to my research, uh, my research uh, aims to focus on the leadership in the 21st century, especially in this period of COVID pandemic, and to study the characteristics of bad and good leaders from countries affected by this global plague. 
based on the Confucian principles of virtuous leader and how the virtues mentioned by Confucius are being used or not by modern worldwide leaders during this difficult time and correlate their outcomes being then positive or negative. So in this case, to assess the most affected by COVID and the least affected by COVID. I will not only assess the presidents, but also the, the chief of health departments and so on. And these are the essences of what an ideal leader should act or be during COVID, which are fundamentally based on the five constants of Confucius. Uh, empathic leader based on kindness, love, and compassion, which belongs to uh, benevolence. Appropriate conducts taken during risk control through moral judgment, which belongs to righteousness, E. Creation of new norms and regulations to bring order and stabilization, which belongs to propriety, Li. Making wise decisions that are experience-based and morality-based. We have our wisdom here. Zhi. Incredible outputs and transparent indicators belongs to Xin, trustworthy, trustworthiness. Now, the methodology of my paper will be done in a way to help me to elaborate an accountable comparative analysis between leaders of countries with similar political, economic, and social characteristics. That is why I will select a group of countries with similar GDP, countries with uh, similar geographic, social, and political conditions. This is also why, just to remind, uh, the reason that I, for my master thesis, I did a comparative analysis of countries with the same level of development, which are the in development countries of BRICS. And the mixed method design will be applying in my paper. The source of data used to collect um, quantitative statistics of COVID in terms of uh, total cases, total active cases, mortality and recovery rates, and the number of serious cases are from the websites of World Health Organization, Coronavirus Dashboard, and World Dormitors, Coronavirus. And the period exam in my paper will range in between June 2020 to June 2021, as it is the, the time that we have the peak of the outbreak affected by the first variant of the virus. And it's seen most of the countries. So for the qualitative data uh, collected, it will be from a comprehensive reading of leaders' profiles, uh, regulations and guidelines created during the pandemic, and action plans taken, elaborated by each region. And they will be assessed for content, thematic, and comparative analysis. Uh, this is just a figurative slide of showing the global leaders, but not necessarily um, the ones that are gonna be studied in my paper. And when analyzing the data collected, first of all, I will identify themes from the qualitative reports. And following that, content will be studied and then a comparative analysis will be done to identify the similarities with the concepts of a virtuous leader from the Confucian news, 
by spotting the five constants characteristics. And after analyzing the qualitative data, the results will be used for correlational analysis together with the quantitative data collected. And the correlation will be showing graphs ranging from the strong positive correlation to no correlation. And in the end, to conclude, the promotion of Confucian leadership will be supported by the possible positive correlations from this study. I believe it will be fruitful to remind the readers the Chinese roots of thoughts and how important they are being applied in modern times. But I, will also, I would also like to state some limitations of my study, which I found. Uh, I realized that by only using COVID statistics, I did not enough. I further need to examine other variables such as economic growth, unemployment rate, Gini coefficient, freedom index, current account balances, and so on. And to see whether they increase, remain constant, or decrease in the crisis period. And this is the end of my presentation. Thank you.